for this day we're gonna be installing short chapter on the A46 with the help of What's happening people? How are you guys doing today? My name is Rab. Welcome to the blog of Daring Whips and we are, you already know, installing the short shifter on the A46. Oh yeah, you all know what, what these things do and how these things can We got this guy with this red Hellcat that you don't really see on the road, just a track. But if it goes to track, it only goes to the shop. <laughs> so here we are with two cars. They are always broken. This is broken on the road. That's on the track. Big difference, but still. All right, let's get get into it. Uh, so first thing first, you're, all you're gonna have to do is pull up that shifter right there. Oh, let me put this down. It's actually hot in California again. It's another day. Uh, you just pull this up and it comes out. Then you, there's like one, two, three, four clips on this. You pull it. Pull this thing out. And then there's the rubber on the bottom. Take the rubber out. Then the next thing. Jack up the car, get under the car, open up the clips, and get the thing out. And after you put the new sucker in, you got four bolts, put the sucker in, clip it in from the bottom, you got the whole thing working. That's how you basically install it. But let's just get right into it and get working. <sighs> I can't breathe for, for some reason. four clips and then you have this rubber right here that's supposed to come out that's going to be really hard I'm going to try my best to get it out as soon as I can but it's going to probably take me a little bit so let's get it out so, uh, alright so first thing first as, as soon as you take these two out so I have this rubber right here so this rubber won't let me reach the one in the bottom that one I'm supposed to take out so I already got to uh, re replace this I wasn't going to record it but so I'm going to have to replace this in order to open this I'm going to have to open these bolts up right so these bolts are going to let me take this console out so I can remove this rubber and then I can reach this one so that, that console looks like show me bro yep all right, so after <laughs> we take this all thing out, I'm going to start recording afterwards. This is it. Like, literally, you got to take this rubber out, and this is it from the top. Then you check up the car and get on the bottom. Hey, guys. So, literally, it had uh, two clips that goes for your window scrolling thingies on the, the buttons on the top, right? These buttons right here. And so you clip those, take those out, and then you take this rubber out. It just comes out. There's nothing holding on to it. What the hell? You find a lighter in my car, bro? My car came with a lighter from BMW. That didn't really take that long. Just a few pushes from the big guy <laughs> and some sweat. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Why do I decide to do this on the hottest day possible? And why do I decide to live in California? I hate this shit. All right, well, it's out. Well, I did use those pluckers to get this thing out. But yeah, we actually just broke it. Because it actually pretty looked... It looked actually pretty new, I'm not gonna lie, being the car 22 years old, this looks pretty fucking damn good. Alright, so I took it out, I just ripped it out, because I'm not gonna use it, because the, the short shifter that I'm installing has like 4 bolts, it's gonna be chassis mounted, so I don't really need it. Alright, so now jack up the car, get under the car, and then it starts with the clips. So tell me what happened. <laughs> well, see my hands? I've been under that thing for the last, what, three hours? Yeah, but that thing, the clip, won't come off. So what I'm gonna do, drop the car off and have fun with it. I'm not gonna install it. I'm gonna have someone else come to my house or drop the car at the shop and get it done. So even if, if I have someone come to my house, I'm gonna 
show you how it's been done. But if, if I drop the car at the shop, then I'm not gonna be showing you, obviously. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just install the, sh the middle cancel that was broken and just call it a day. Cause it's been three hours and yeah, I'm sweating like a cause of this shit, yeah. Well, homie's gotta leave. Easy. We're gonna get the starter for this thing. I'm gonna be recording a video with this thing up pretty soon. It was tuned by these, but now it's back to stock. It's a straight pipe, no muffler, no resonator, no cats. I think it has a muffler, I'm not sure. But yeah. Peace out, bro. Okay. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> we didn't do shit. Shush. This guy, this guy is a maniac, bro. I uh, now I'm gonna get on with the middle council. Started with the shifter. Let's see if we can fix, finish this or not. Yes, got the old council out. Uh, it was a whole lot of mess. A whole lot of stuff. I say now. It actually took me like maybe 10 minutes. It wasn't that hard. It was actually fairly easy. But uh, all all you gotta do is just clip it out. I'll put a link on the top of the video for another video that you can watch if you want to really go and open up that middle center council but yeah uh, i'm gonna clean that up real quick and then get on with the new one in hold on out new one in so i guess it's not really my day i fucking hate bmws if you got a bmw i don't know bro what you doing so Oh fucking hell. Hate this stupid shit. Uh bought this off of I don't know some site or something. So that's where my e-brakes e-brakes gonna go. This council is supposed to this uh, this council is supposed to be on this side. This e-brake opener thingy is supposed to be on this side. And that is supposed to be on this side. So this shit won't go on my car. And I guess I bought about the wrong center council. So all of all of this for nothing. I couldn't install the shifter. Couldn't install this shit. What a fucking disappointment. Peace out. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Probably with the shifter and a middle console installed. Peace.